Hey everyone, thanks for watching tonight. Uh, this concludes our first week of Quarantad's uh, fungus and fermentation. It's been quite a week. We've uh, tried six different beers. We've learned that mushrooms, uh, oyster mushrooms can grow like crazy. And um, I've had a lot of fun and I, I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, tonight, as always, we'll check the mushrooms. We will taste a beer. Uh, looking for something else to do a little different. So um, I'm going to steal uh, an idea straight out of David Letterman and I think we'll do some uh, stupid pet tricks. So we'll see how I can do this on video. So first I'd like to introduce Cooper. Hey Coop, come here buddy. Cooper is a 10 year old, there he is. Cooper's a 10 year old lab mix and I have a biscuit for him and let's see if we can get him on camera here. Not doing a very good job of this. There we go, cool. There you go, ready? Now we're gonna put a, put a biscuit on his nose. Wait. Let me get a good view of this. There's a biscuit on his nose. Wait. All right. All right, now, if, if that isn't quarantine entertainment at its finest, I don't know what is. Uh, one more biscuit, so we'll reward him with that one. All right, so we're through that exciting part of the show. Um, now, uh, tonight's beer, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here because tonight's beer is actually a dinosaur themed beer. It is called Pseudo Sue, and I'm not sure exactly what this means, but it's called, uh, Top Lane Goliath Brewing Company, and it's made, uh, in conjunction with the Field Museum in Chicago. So, yeah, so Sue obviously, uh, refers to the, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, fossils that they have there. And uh, so, so what I was thinking is, uh, as we check the mushrooms today, uh, my nephew, Nick, is a big dinosaur fan and can do the dinosaur ABC song straight through. Uh, and so I figured as I show the mushrooms today, and, and we'll include that as the spritzing song in honor of, of my nephew, Nick. So here are the mushrooms. They are growing like crazy. Uh, I... I'm actually going to have to look and see exactly when is the right time to pick them because pretty they're they're pretty much taking over the box. So really impressive. I did not know they could grow this fast. Really cool. However, even when they're this large, it's important you spritz them. So once again, I said I'm going to do uh, spritzing music today is the Dinosaur ABC song. So we will go with that while we spritz the mushrooms. All right, we're all set. So there we go with the mushroom up for, update for today. I think we're only a couple days away from picking those and figuring out what we're going to do with them. So, um, all right, we come to the we we come to the beer portion of the of the show. I have my Pabst Blue Ribbon glass, and uh, once again, this is called Pseudo Sue Pale Ale. It's by the Toppling Goliath Brewing Company, and like I said, it's it's brewed. Uh, in conjunction with the Field Museum. So, uh, unfortunately, over spring break, Field Museum is something that a lot of people would like to do, and unfortunately, it was, uh, it's been closed. So, uh, we will check this one out. By the way, I have gotten comments that my pour is much improved. I appreciate all the feedback. All of you have helped make me get better. So, thank you for that. So you can see here, it's really hazy. Didn't expect that from a pale ale. Usually don't see that kind of thing uh, from a pale ale. So that, that's kind of interesting. It's lighter, but it's it's really hazy. It's interesting. It's lighter than a pale ale. The hops don't hit you like off the, really hit you hard, but it's uh, really uh, crisp, has some citrus notes. It's good. Um, for those people that, like hops, don't like too many hops. Um, maybe like some some citrus notes in their beer. Really good, crisp. I actually a pretty good. I think it would be a pretty good summer beer. So, once again, that is Pseudo Sue uh, Pale Ale by Toppling Goliath Brewing Company. All right. Well, thank you again for watching. Appreciate everyone watching. All your comments, all your questions. I really appreciate them. 
please feel free to share this um, with other friends on Facebook, as well as um, I have now uh, created a YouTube channel, so I'm posting everything on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, appreciate everyone watching. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.